hello students in this video we'll discuss about array command in autocad what is an array array is used to draw multiple copies of a single object arranged in a particular pattern right so if you have an object for which you want multiple copies and there to arrange in a particular pattern so we can use array command for that so there are three types of arrays one is rectangular array second is polar array third is path array so if you want to arrange multiple copies in the form of rows and columns so if you want your objects to be arranged in the form of rows and columns you can use rectangular array then polar array if you want your object to be arranged in the form of a circle right you want to follow a circular pattern to arrange the object so that is known as polar array so if you want multiple copies of any object on a path so if you defined a path and on that path you want to draw multiple copies of any object that is known as path array so we can use path array for that so let us move to AutoCAD. So before we actually use the array command, let us draw an object first. Let us draw a figure. Let us draw a circle whose radius is 2.5 mm. Right. So this is the circle. This is the object for which I want to form an array. So I'll this is this is known as array. You can see here this is rectangular array, or you can simply write array in the command bar, and there you will get the option of array rectangular array RECT. So click over here, select the object. So this is the object for which you want to form the array click over here then press enter now you can see it has been arranged in the form of rows and columns so here you can select the number of rows so i'll just click over here go to columns first go to columns click on columns number of columns so select the number of columns let the number of columns be equal to 8 press enter let so see it has been changed then distance between the columns so at present it is 7.5 you can change it let us make it equal to 10 so just see the distance between the columns has been increased now let us move to rows click on rows number of rows let it be equal to 12 so i'm increasing it press enter let's see 12 rows are there then Next is the distance between the rows again for this I am making it to 10 press enter right so I think it is ok press enter so this is the array command so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so at the bottom it is 12 here right and how many number of columns are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so this is this is the rectangular array right so let us move to polar array now array polar so you write array press enter select the object so let us suppose this is the object press enter so I'll go to polar array, click on polar, select center point of the array. Basically in polar array we are arranging the object or figure in the form of a circle. So that for that circle you need to give the center. <coughs> Let us say this is the center of the circle in which you want to arrange this object. right? So you can see already six you know objects can be seen six items can be seen so now we can change the you know 
number of items or at what angle you want to place these we can change that so first of all let us go to items so click on items number of items are 6 by default let us make these equal to 15 press enter just see number of circles or number of items has been increased so next is fill angle fill angle means starting from 0 degree okay till what angle you want these 15 items to be arranged okay if i want these 15 items to be arranged till 270 so this much of this uh, you can say space will be empty and till like this is 0 90 180 270 so till 270 uh, 15 items will be arranged so let us go to fill angle click on fill angle okay let the fill angle be equal to 270 press enter so just see now this space is empty and in 270 degree 15 items has been arranged so again if you want to change the fill angle let us say it is equal to 180 press enter just yes, see now under 180 they have arranged 15 items so this is polar array right so in which you can arrange the objects in the form of a circle right next is path array path array is very simple let us say I have this spline command okay I am defining a path like this ok let us move to circle command again let us draw a circle I want a circle to be drawn along this path let us say this is the circle now let us go to array again array go to path array this is the object select the object it is asking press enter select path curve this is the path click over here so you can see the circle has been drawn on along this path right so items you can change okay so you can click over here distance they are, they are asking first of all what is the distance along the path for the items let us say it is equal to 8 press enter number of items let it be equal to now it is 29 here let us reduce the number of items let us make it 25 and press enter so just see the number of items has been reduced so accordingly according to the need you can change the number of items the distance between the items okay so this was a command with which you are able to draw multiple copies of an object arranged in a particular pattern so rectangular polar and path array thank you very much